I'm going to tell you a story, but you have to promise that you won't tell anyone. It's about my stepbrother. That's why I'm sitting here. It's like the quietest point in the house. And I think they might be in the other room. <laughs> if they come in, we'll just pretend that I'm exercising, okay? Anyway, my stepbrother. It's horrible that I even have to call him that. He's such a loser. But anyway, he has this really, really strange illness. When he gets embarrassed, he shrinks. He's had it like since I met him. But yeah, <laughs> I used to always tease him when we were younger <laughs> and just see him get smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> That's not the only thing that makes him always her. <laughs> He's never had a girlfriend ever like ever everyone laughs at him <laughs> which just makes him smaller <laughs> imagine <laughs> nobody really wants to be friends with like someone who might just shrink down any second so yeah he's just kind of shit to be honest just kind of like the kind of person you don't want to be around. So, <laughs> I found something on his laptop last week. <gasps> You'll never believe what it was. <laughs> so you know how I just told you that he has a shrinking virus and when he gets humiliated he shrinks down? Well it turns out the little freak is into femdom porn. Imagine that, like, what's that about? <laughs> Imagine being such a little weirdo. <laughs> Do you want to know how I found it? <laughs> so basically, I thought there was something weird. He'd been spending a lot of time on his computers with his headphones in. So I told him that my laptop was broken and I would have to borrow his. <laughs> you know, something important that I had to look up. <laughs> Little did he know that I was going to go through his whole computer. I did eventually plan on telling mum and dad, but... <laughs> I soon realised that I could use it to my advantage. So, once I opened the computer, the little moron, he hadn't even closed the tab. It was still open. <laughs> He'd been watching a video where a dominatrix swore at him, called him names kicked and punched him <laughs> he'd been watching all sorts of crazy stuff and I knew right then that I could make him do exactly what I wanted <laughs> that he would have no choice to obey I decided not to tell mum and dad at least for now <laughs> this stupid little sap brother He acted so innocently the first time I called him into my room. I told him what I'd seen, what I'd found. You should have seen the look of shock on his face. He was instantly embarrassed. <laughs> he shrunk about an inch straight away. It was quite funny. But little did he know that I'd spent some time watching those videos and I knew exactly what to do to him. It'd been a few years since I had him shrunk all the way down. In fact, I don't think it'd been since I made him piss his pants. When we were little, I was meant to be looking after him and I wouldn't let him go to the toilet. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> 
seeing him soaking wet. <laughs> and then laughing at him the whole car ride home. We didn't have any dry pants, so he had to <laughs> sit in the back of the car. So funny. <laughs> Can you imagine? I used to bring it up every so often. <laughs> Told all his friends. <laughs> but anyway, you must be wondering what I did to him. <laughs> so, the little loser came in my room. <laughs> Told him what I'd found. And then I started on him. I had big plans to make him into the tiniest little bitch. A tiny, teeny weeny little bitch. He could never escape. He would have to do whatever I told him. He manipulate and abuse how I wanted. So first, I started off by laughing at him for enjoying femdom content. <laughs> I told him how pathetic he was. <laughs> and then I started shouting at him, like I'd seen the dominatrixes online doing. I started telling him he was a loser. He's pathetic. A waste of space. That he ruined my happiness by ever being near me. How disgusting. How fucking vile. Can you imagine me having to live in the same house as that waste of space? And the smaller he got, the more I laughed. He kept begging for me to stop. He kept saying, please, please, don't make me get any smaller. So humiliating. Almost like that wasn't the whole point. Absolute idiot. So yeah, I shrunk him down pretty far. I think it was like maybe six inches. I'm not sure. It was pretty small. <sighs> Slapped him about a bit, but I didn't want to do too much that first time. <laughs> it was funny as hell. But then mum and dad got home and I didn't want to hear him screaming or anything. I didn't want to have to explain. <laughs> so he hid in his room for a whole day. Can you imagine? He even missed dinner because <laughs> he was so ashamed to admit what he had done. <laughs> mum and dad didn't even care. Typical, right? <laughs> they know he's a little weirdo, so they don't give a fuck. <laughs> So yeah, by the next day, he had nearly got back to normal height, nearly, probably like a few inches shorter, but he was getting there. <laughs> and I decided that wasn't good enough. I didn't want that. I wanted him tiny again. Oh no, what an evil bitch I am. So this time... I thought it'd be really fun to invite a friend over to uh, laugh at him with. Oh, I forgot to say, when he'd been shrunk before, I'd taken some photos to uh, add to my group chat with the girls. Wanted to make sure <laughs> that everyone had a good laugh, because I wasn't sure I'd be able to replicate it. I mean, I was pretty confident, but the shrinking virus is unpredictable. So, where were we? I'd invited my friend over. I was in my pajamas and I heard the freak outside my door. I opened the door and I asked him what the fuck he was doing listening in. I dragged him inside and I made him sit on the end of the bed while I told him what a pathetic waste of space he was. I berated him. It's more than he deserved, honestly. <laughs> he started shrinking again. Obviously. Can't even control that. <laughs> he takes the tiniest little bit of humiliation and instantly he's... Whoop. But yeah. <laughs> My 
friend was gonna be over soon. Sent her a photo. My friend thought it was hilarious. I was voice knowing her the whole time while I was shrinking him and laughing at him. <laughs> I actually made him smaller than last time. I got him down to under five inches. He just kept shrinking. There's sometimes he shrinks more than others, so I really need to refine my art form. I'm just new to femdom, I guess. <laughs> I'm naturally good at it. Who would have thought someone as hot as me being good at something <laughs> like that? Something that demands power, assertiveness, beauty. <laughs> but maybe I'm bigging myself up too much. Who am I kidding? <laughs> anyway, but back to the story. So I think he was listening outside my door while I was on the phone to my friend. I was getting changed to go out and when I <laughs> opened the door he had shrunk another foot. <laughs> so I brought him back inside and slapped him about some more. <laughs> and when I'd done slapping about, I told him to fuck off for a little bit. My friend came round. I went outside to meet her. <laughs> then I told her as soon as she came in, she had to be the biggest fucking baddest bitch. She had to let out all her anger. Anyone who had ever annoyed her, she was to put onto my always or step bro. I mean, by this point, he was barely the size of my finger. Okay, maybe a little, yeah, probably pushing the size of my finger. <laughs> I still think I can get him smaller, but you know. So she came into my room and as soon as she came in, she took her coat off and she threw it right on top of him. <laughs> he was completely wiped out. <laughs> We could hear him screaming from under the coat, but we ignored him for a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, we were talking about all the real men. All the guys we want to date and how he'll never, ever find a girlfriend with his virus. How he'll always just be a little loser that lives at home. How he'll never have a real job because how would he? You can't employ someone that's the size of a little finger. Okay, and this is the best part of the story coming right up. <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better and better. <laughs> so me and my friend, we ordered in some food and some drinks. <laughs> This isn't the good part. <laughs> we spent the whole night tormenting him. <laughs> we made him cut up the food on our plates. And when he fucked that up, we called him a little loser. Couldn't even do a simple task. We put our feet over him. We said we were going to crush him. If he didn't call us goddess and mistress, if he didn't tell us how perfect we were. <gasps> we took videos. We threatened to drown him in the toilet, but I thought that was a little bit too far, you know? Might have to explain it to the parents. <laughs> we honestly had the best night. We were so drunk and having so much fun tormenting him. Everything we did, it just seemed to push him closer and closer towards some edge in his mind. It was almost like, I don't know, like at any moment he could shrink down and cease to exist. It was beautiful, really. But of course, it came to a certain point that my friend had to go home. You know how my little stepbrother wished she hadn't. 
Public appearances were the only thing stopping me from letting that little bitch have it. That little shunk, pathetic maggot. <laughs> I beat him up until he was black and blue. I wanted to see how much he could take. Surprising, really. <laughs> it's almost like his strength doesn't change too much when he gets shrunk down. Lucky for him. <laughs> Otherwise, I wonder if he'd even be alive right now. <laughs> I have to wonder. <laughs> but yeah, I beat him all night. I shot at him. I swore at him. I made him regret being alive. And I told him it was all his fault. It was all his fault for being a little shrunk thing. For making me put up with him. Forever coming into my life. I told him he was to take the blame. He asked for it by being outside my bedroom. He asked for it by being there. You should be grateful, really. <laughs> I'm never gonna get in trouble for someone, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what I've done for the rest of the week. Well, it's been a fun one. I've been gradually getting better and better at shrinking him down. I've been learning his trigger words. Learning exactly what to say to him. Normally, calling him a pathetic little bitch does the trick. But what I like to do is to remind him of all the times before that he's been humiliated. That seems to be the real secret. So I've been practicing that, and then letting him grow nearly back to full height. Shrinking him down again. Up and down, and up and down, and up and down. <laughs> it's, um, adorable. Really adorable. It's like a new toy. <laughs> if I, uh, played with disgusting little creatures for fun. Oh wait, yes I do. He's like a new toy. <laughs> Something to manipulate and control. I might tell her parents at some point, but for now, let's not. <laughs> Just in case I end up shrinking him down and can't get him back. What I have found is that each time he shrinks all the way down, it takes him longer and longer. Go back to full size. So maybe one day he'll just be small forever. Oh, it's so, so cute. It's so perfect. I didn't realize it's taking me a while to tell you this story. I kept getting distracted thinking about all the things I'm going to do. He's got no chance. And now that I'm getting better at femdom, at humiliating him, I'll never be able to escape. And as long as we're under the same roof. <laughs> he really doesn't stand a hope in hell. <laughs> He'll forever be my little humiliation toy. He'll have no way to say no. Soon enough, I'll know all of his secrets. And then, <laughs> things are only gonna get worse. For him, or should I say it? <clears throat> do you think I'm mean? Or do you think I'm completely in control? That is my rightful.
place in life. 